If you're trying to help a cancer patient and their family, sometimes the best thing that you can do is give attention to someone who isn't the patient themselves. I know it sounds weird, but I'm talking about their significant other or their partner, whether it's a husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, or whoever is special romantically to that person, they need help and they don't get enough of it. How can I be so sure of this? Well, I'm a stage four cancer patient and I've had two serious diagnoses in the last five years. For each of those diagnoses, I've had a different partner in a different stage of relationship, but I've seen them both suffer nonetheless. Also, my dad has cancer right now and I'm watching my mom go crazy as she worries about him. I've also spoken with hundreds of cancer patients over the last five years and many of their partners. And each time I do, it's abundantly clear to me that partners are not getting the love they deserve. If you don't know me, my name is Mike Lynn and I make these videos not only to help my mental health and update my family, but to connect with cancer patients and their loved ones so we can grow conversations like these. If you could take a second to like this video and subscribe to my channel, it would help me con to continue on that mission and I would really appreciate it. Shameless self-promotion aside, this is a topic that's really important to me. As I've been growing the vlog, it's been easier to access the more nuanced and difficult emotional elements of cancer and this one certainly fits the bill. No matter how long you've been in a relationship or what your status is, it's safe to assume that a lot of your day-to-day well-being, your emotional makeup, and your short and long-term plans are affected by the well-being of your partner. If your partner is thriving and happy, you're more likely to be happy. If your partner is sick or down in the dumps, you're probably going to be negatively affected. And cancer? Cancer's a whole other monster. Cancer is such a unique and shitty trauma because the patient is immediately thrown into fight or flight as they see the terms of their diagnosis and treatment but then they're also looking over their shoulder for at a minimum of five years. Imagine if your partner was hit by a truck, but then every day for a long, long period of time, they had to worry about the truck sneaking into their life and hitting them again when they least expect it. It's not that fun. But at the same time, when someone's diagnosed with cancer, they are having their life structured around that and they have to be selfish. They're going through labs, treatments, their own emotional distress, and all the while, no one is watching you as you're trying to take care of your partner and maintain a semblance of normalcy in your life at the same time. It's nearly impossible. So how do we help someone whose significant other has been diagnosed with cancer? I can think of three good ways. The first one is to engage them in a deep and human conversation, nothing superficial. Too often, the partner of a cancer patient is getting the typical, hey, how's it going? Can I help you with something? How's Mike? or how's your partner? Not all partners are named Mike. And it's easy for that person to just fire back a canned response. After all, that's just small talk. But if you really wanna help them with a complex emotional situation, ask them about their fears. Ask them what has been thrown off in their day-to-day -day life. Ask them if they need anything that can be done sustainably to make their life less stressful. It's hard for people to admit they're going through a terrible time, especially when they don't wanna feel like they're taking the focus away from their sick partner but it's a really valuable thing if you can engage them and get to open up. The second way you can help someone whose partner has been diagnosed with cancer is by encouraging them to go see a therapist. Maybe you couldn't get them to open up. Maybe you don't wanna try. It might not be the relationship you have with them. A therapist is a great tool to help someone overcome emotional barriers, work on complex thought processes, and relieve some of the stress of a terrible situation like dating a cancer patient. Both my partners in this situation were advocates of therapy and went to therapists, but I've talked to plenty of couples who hadn't even thought to have the partner go to therapy, which is crazy in a time in which therapy has become so prevalent. I think going to see a therapist regularly, regularly is healthy for plenty of people. So if someone's dating a cancer patient and they haven't gone to therapy yet, please encourage them to do so. It's perfectly normal and very healthy. The third way you can help someone whose partner has cancer is to take over a little bit of the social planning in their life. It's safe to say that a significant other usually is a big portion of your social plans. However, when someone's diagnosed with cancer, they're gonna become stressed out, introverted, sick, and selfish. I'm all those things right now, and I can see how it's hurting my partner. So if you know someone who has a significant other with cancer, offer to go on a hike with them, organize a dinner party and have them come to it, or just have a casual hangout with you or any number of friends who can you know, talk to them about their feelings or just make them feel comfortable and take their mind off it. You're gonna to have to read the room a little bit, but regardless, make sure that they don't have to do the planning. When someone is watching their loved one go through a really hard time, they're probably gonna be super stressed out too. Their bandwidth is lowered and they probably think they're gonna be a little bit of a bummer. Trust me, I've heard these things. So all you gotta do is reach out and say, hey, I'd love to hang out with you. When are you available? 
Those are three great ways you can help someone whose significant other has cancer, but it's certainly not limited to that. Get creative, get personal with it. You're gonna know the person better than I do, and if these suggestions don't fit the bill, work to come up with something that really helps. Most of all, I'm just saying, pay extra attention to the people whose partner have cancer because no one throws them a life vest. That's all I've got for today, but if you wanna share this video with someone whose partner has cancer, I think it would be a really good thing to do. I hope to create more kind of thought-provoking, emotional response material like this as I go on, so please stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Bye.